Hey YouTube, this is Everything Epan here, and today we're going to be doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows Whistler Build 2223 in VirtualBox. Now, this is of course uh, part of the beta pre-beta series. This is the last uh, build of the pre-beta uh, series of Whistler, and then we'll be moving on to beta one. Um, so. Uh, if I can get 2202 to work, I will upload a tutorial, but for now we're just going to go to 2223, lots of twos in there, um, and just do that. So um, there will be some links in the description for, uh, let me count them here, VirtualBox, WinRAR, um, a link for the MS-DOS set of files, not the CD drive or the CD uh, ISO, um, as well as the ISO for Whistler 2223. So, um, the bio state will be in there as well, just in case uh, you can't read it on the screen. But let's go ahead and begin. We're going to create a new virtual machine here and call this Windows Whistler Build 2223. Go ahead and select the version as XP 32 bit. Click Next. Leave it at 192 megabytes of RAM. Click Next. And then we're going to create a virtual hard drive. Next. Next and then create. Leave it at 10 gigabytes. And then go ahead and go to settings. Go to storage and then you need to add a floppy controller and then you need to insert the first disk for MS-DOS. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do that quick. I'm going to um, set up uh, MS-DOS and I'll be back once we hit the um, screen with the bio state. And I'll show you what to enter in for that. Okay, so here we are at the date and time screen in MS-DOS setup here. So what you need to do is change the date here to the 4th. Uh, uh, let me type this in and I'll tell you what the date is. So this will be uh, April 12th, the year 2000. So that's what you need to type in there and then just continue with the DOS setup. Okay, so now we have MS-DOS installed, so go ahead and insert the uh, Whistler ISO and restart your machine. And then uh, press any key to boot from the CD. And it's going to come up with what it says, Windows 2000 setup, but it's actually not Windows 2000, it's Windows Whistler. They just didn't change all the names and everything at the time of uh, releasing these pre-betas. That's why they're called pre-betas, because they didn't change quite everything yet. So it's going to say setup is starting Windows 2000, and now we come up with the Windows 2000 professional setup. And it says, uh, with the uh, welcome here, click enter, click uh, enter on this. Then we're going to click on F8 to agree to the terms, and then we're going to, we can delete this partition, and then just install it on the full 10 gigs. Click enter, and we're going to format with the NTFS file system quick. And then after the uh, formatting process is finished, it's going to do a disk check. And now it's going to uh, copy over the files onto the hard drive. So let's go ahead and uh, let that continue, and I'll be right back. So here we fit the first reboot point, and we're going to go ahead and reboot. And it is a bootable CD, so do not press any key to boot to it. So, of course, it still has the Windows 2000 boot screen here. And um, the first time the boot screen was changed was in 2257. And uh, you can check out that video tutorial that I made on it. And uh, this will eventually be all on a playlist um, once I uh, finish all these tutorials, just so I can get them all in order by build and everything. So, here it says, Welcome to the Windows 2000 Setup Wizard. Of course, this is Whistler, not 2000. Go ahead and click Next to continue, and now it's going to install devices. This can take a little bit of time, so I'll be right back again. So here we are with the regional settings screen. Go ahead and choose your specified. Click Next and uh, type in anything here. I'm just going to type in Windows User. Click Enter. Uh, click Enter again. And uh, make sure that this is still set as April 12, 2000, and click Next. Now it's going to install your networking components. And 
and then it uh, will come up here with hopefully a screen shouldn't be taking too long it's taking a little longer than I expected but there we go now uh, leave it at typical settings click next and then click next and now it's going to copy the files over and install at Whistler 2223 so I'll be back once we are restarting so here it'll say completing the Windows 2000 setup wizard that means you've successfully completed it and installed it and it says one or more errors will uh, come up here you can go ahead and view the log if you desire but that should not matter at all um, it'll say press any key do not do so I'm just leaving it in just in case we have another window pop up but we should be able to hit the uh, desktop and the uh, um, log on screen here so Here we are booting up. There you see it says Windows Whistler Professional Build 2223 on the bottom right. And it's preparing network connections. And uh, just go ahead and click next here. And then uh, go ahead and um, we're going to click next and click finish. Still rocking the uh, Windows 2000 startup sound here, um, but here we are on the desktop, sound working, and uh, we've successfully installed Windows Whistler Professional. So there you go, guys. That's how to install Windows Whistler Build 2223. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Um, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Comment your ideas for future tutorials and future videos down below, and do not forget to subscribe. Once again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.